Well, it's exactly a month since the Pulwama attack and in which 40 soldiers of India's Central Reserve Police Force were killed in a suicide attack by Pakistan-based terror group jesh e Mohammed on the 14th of February. Now, India's response has been two-pronged, uh, diplomatic isolation and military intervention. In the first, India has made it clear that uh, Pakistan, that terror and talks cannot go on together simultaneously. New Delhi has also leaned on the international community to rein Pakistan in and bar in China, which continues to handle Islamabad with kid gloves, the rest of the world has responded. But India has taken its stand uh, against terror a step further. Twelve days after the Pulwama attack, the Indian Air Force launched a preemptive non-military strike on Pakistan's uh, Balakot. It struck one of the largest training camps of the Jaish-e Mohammed. Additionally, India has launched a sweeping operation against the jaish -e members operating in the Kashmir Valley. In the last month alone, the Indian security forces have neutralized 18 jaish -e terrorists, including Mudassir Khan, uh, the key conspirator of the Pulwama attack. Up until the Pulwama attack, there were 56 jaish -e terrorists operating in the Kashmir Valley. Only 38 remain of these 23 are Pakistanis and there have been 26 encounters between terrorists and security forces including one that lasted for more than a hundred hours. India has lost 16 of its men in the counter-terrorism operations in the last month. All this while Pakistan has violated the ceasefire more than 80 times leading to the death of seven civilians.